Oh, and Brainy's can play it in here. And Nielsen is on forward. And Nielsen's got the ability to get a strike in here. He has. Oh, what a save. What a great save. The Pilates class has done it. Nice stretches, boys. I thought it was Love Island down there. Good afternoon and welcome to a packed, packed Badgers Hill, home of Froome Town. They're in the Southern League Division 1 playoff final against Bristol Manor Farm. Bristol Manor Farm beat Cribs on Wednesday night. We were there, we saw it. The weather, miserable, lovely sunny, very warm tonight. Froome Town beat Malzo quite comfortably 3-0. Both teams playing red, but because of the home advantage, Froome are going the red. Otherwise, the place is full of red. It's a fantastic atmosphere building here. Reportedly 1,600 tickets sold online and there's more going to come in. It has the feel of a, of a big match occasion. The stand across over there has been full for the last hour. I don't know whether it's the coach company got them in the right place. They might be sat in there. I don't know where they're going. My name's Steve Massey, Director of Football at Helston Athletic Football Club. All these action, edited highlights are going to be brought to you by Pyram Films. Monks, back there the, the skipper, Teal, can he get the ball into the box? He has, it's gone in, it's over the keeper, ooh! Teal has gone in, in. and uh, Woodhouse has won that one again. Doddy me turns left, and now this way it's Nielsen. Who's looked really sharp? He's going on to goal. He's uh, in here. He slide it in the net. He puts it across yeah, the goal. Yeah. It's there. Bristol Man of Farm. Oh, Barment. And I think it was the guy who started the sharpest. He's really, really has that. Nielsen, and, um, wearing the seven for Bristol Man of Farm. And his left foot. He's been involved in most things in here. What a great run. What a great run. It's a beautiful ball across the box. And then he walks it into the empty net. Ben Bowen and just 10 minutes of play. The scoreline here in the uh, playoff final, the Southern League, is Froome Town nil. Bristol Manor Farm won. Froome at the moment, I, I'm very surprised. They haven't, they haven't looked to try and play any football. They've just gone long. And it's worked this time. They've got heel here. Can he get a ball in the box? He has. Louis Ball Simpson's in there. But there's that man, Woodhouse, again. Smith now. All in the six yard line, he's going to rock it straight on the keeper. It's and it's a goal! Yes, it is! And now you hear the cheers, it's Teal! I was about to say, if they've done the homework, they will stick this right on the keeper. Because he wasn't that convincing the other night, and that's exactly what they will have done. Straight into six yard, must have been two or three yards out. Great corner, and it's Teal. I think it's the man Teal, Captain Teal, has headed Froome. <laughs> Broom Town 1, Bristol Manor Farm 1. So what's that going to do for uh, Manor Farm now then? They're lined up in here. It's just caused some problems to Manor Farm. Right into the box, wow! Decides to put the cross into the back post. Has it gone too far? No, it's not. He's taken the Simpson. Simpson, go! Oh! And Simpson fancied his chances from virtually on the goal line. A little knock back into the back post would have been a much better option. I think it's rain, look, it's, you can see the rain yeah. coming there. It makes for a nice backdrop. Winter's gone, gone deep in there. So Adam's battling with it and Simpsons has found it. But they're here now, can they get away? Oh. Bristol Manor Farm back, well, Nielsen, sweeping it up. Robbed by Drew. Oh, and dearie, mate. 
There's the first, the first nasty challenge in the game. I, I can't, I can't see anything. <laughs> Brain trying to get in. He has, he's got the ball back again. He's running to the byline. Can he get the cross in? Pull it back and we'll play Brain. In my vantage point of this TV press box. So, man of foul with their first corner, but it's, it's headed away. Simpson batting it, but Winters come out with it. Winters lobbed it straight back in again. It's headed away. We turn and Nielsen's away again. Just run it too long. The pitch getting wet now. Water on the pitch, really. But straight to us here. Hey! Sprayed me. Smith is always a touch. And there we are. The half time whistle goes. With the scoreline. The scoreline Froome Town 1, Bristol Manor Farm 1. None of this boom, boom, boom music. This is solid music. Simpson, what can he do now? First time we've seen him look anything lively. Oh, and Smith has been caught, but he plays on. And he's slid to go! Oh, and it's right behind, I was right behind that. And he just bent at the last minute. Otherwise, that was heading in. Simpson getting the ball, he's chipped into the back post and he's, ahead, he's put it over the bar! What an opportunity! Great defending by you. Lucas and then he's done it again. Oh, what's he doing? He's putting it across this box. He only just got fed up, thought I'd make it a bit more exciting. I put a ball in our box. Wow. I think it was uh, Nielsen, I think. And he's in and across. Is it? He can't just get to it. To back out, ball into the back post, lovely one. Can he get down, can he turn and strike, can he strike the goal? Trying to play Sim Simpsons wide out here. He just blocked and now, and now there's a counter on. Man of farm, with Brain. Brain a doddy mead, Brains has been just stopped in his tracks. Oh, has he gone down? Is he giving a penalty? He has! He has! From here it looked like a penalty. The referee steaming it in there because um, Robbins, has, Robbins has gone arguing this point. It certainly looked from here and we're a, we're a good bus stop away from where it, where it happened down the bottom end. So what seems like an eternity since he blew the whistle for the penalty. Drew's over it, right footed. Look at that. I went straight run out, he's gone sorry, and he saved it! He saved it! What a poor penalty! Lock guessed it straight away. From here, uh, the run up, the straight run up, you just blast. I think if you'd stop that then and said, what's going to happen next? You say, he's blasting this all day. And, he, and it's like he, he just uh, he got confused. It's very, very poor. Last time they, the corner came from the right hand side. They scored it, it's gone in. Running right to the middle of the goal. It's met by the tail, and it's in this time! And he's pushed in! I think it's the big fella, Simpson! I think Teal won the header first, and again, so suspect in the air. Man of farm, that is a real, real weakness of that. Keeper's a big enough point to come and keep that. Again, he's missing it. Teal's in it. It's blocked on the line. It's dropped down. I think Simpson's the, the man on the right on the spot, and he's pushing in the rebound. And after 68 minutes, Froome Town lead Bristol Manor Farm two goals to one. Yeah, 
from from our obscure position right on the air, I did think it was yeah. Well now Simpsons is in here, can he he's pulled it back across the box? Oh it is Winter five times to clear it. It's a long throw amendment and they'll launch it into the box. And he's flicked on and he's getting himself a miss in here and Simpsons there! And it's said we've got to be a third one. It's been coming all the time. I'm sorry, Stefan Locke. It's down to you again, son. Got the keeper and I think it's um, Robbins that is that is with him. And between them they sit up and Simpson. Until five minutes ago. I hadn't, hadn't really seen, I'd heard, heard a lot about the, bo the boy Simpson and his scores goals and things. And, um, Manor Farmer played him really well. Woodhouse has won everything against him. And um, so, <laughs> what, do you, what do you know? Five minutes in, bang, bang, two goals, two poachers goals. And um, it's turned the complete tide now for, for Froome. And they're, uh, they, look, they look more than one hand on that, to, on that playoff trophy now. I'm talking about the strikers union here. He's on two goals. Two goals in a playoff. But get a hat trick in a playoff final. What's he doing? He's got to stay on. Nielsen has dropped it into uh, Doddy Mead. Doddy Mead into uh, the, the substitute and Baymont. Can he play, can he slide him in here? He's not offside at all. Can he get a whip across in? He has. And it's saved. Saved down low by Phillips at the near post. Back to Gilchrist, can he turn? Can he, can he get a shot in with his left? Tried to feed one into uh, Brain, it's not been, not been there for him today. But he's just jinked through. And oh, and there was an opportunity, just the slightest, slightest of chances. Oh, and Brain, if you can play it in here, and Nielsen is up forward, and Nielsen's got the ability to get a strike in here. He has, oh, what a save! What a great save! Maidmont has, uh, has won everything in there. Uh, Meeks. The referee, there we go. There he is, all over. They've asked them not to come on the pitch, and to be perfectly honest, the majority of them ha have adhered to the, uh, to the request. And from town, from the troubles of a couple, two, three seasons ago. And they've been resurrected and born from the ashes again. From town, returning back to the Southern Premier Division. Winning the playoff final here at Badgers Hill. Coming from a goal behind to win the playoff final. Three goals to one. Oh, that's like being in Greece or Turkey or something, isn't it? Oh, that. Thank you. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Blue Boss. <laughs> that brings us to the end of the Purim Films highlights for the season 23-24. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed filming it. We brought you some, uh, some thrills, some spills, some goals and some misses. And today's finisher here, a nice way to finish it now with Froome and the crowd, a fantastic crowd, non-league football, alive and very much well down here in the southwest in there. So it just leads from me to say, it's good night from me, Steve Massey, director of football at Health and Football Club, and it's good night from him, Mark Huckle. And all these edited highlights have been brought to you. Until next season, Purim Films. <laughs>